Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Today, I'll be talking about some of the dumbest things that I have ever seen on television. Let's start with one I like to call Make-A-Wish. The story goes that Plankton disguises himself as a genie, and he plans to break his magic bottle so Krabs will put him in the bottle with the secret formula so he can get it. To make a long story short, he ends up getting mangled so much that he can't even do it. And in the end, we find out that the bottle that he was in actually belonged to a real genie. He actually rented it from him so he could uh, do this stunt. Of course, the genie didn't know that and gets even with him for trying to break his bottle. Not that I blame him. But here's where the stupid comes in. He has met a real-life genie, right? So why didn't he just wish for the secret formula, huh? I mean, he has a genie right there, and he didn't wish for the formula? My god, that would have been a lot easier and a lot less painful than trying to pretend to be a genie. What exactly did Plankton learn in college? Even a two-year-old would have made the wish instead of just going through this stupid scheme. What a moron. The next one is one I like to call Are You Blind? This comes from the hit series codenamed Kids Next Door. The Kids Next Door, just about every one of them around the world are frozen, or stupefied as they called it. So all of them are stupefied except for our main cast of characters and a legendary member called Number 274. In a short time we learn that he was being stalked by two new villains called Megamom and Destructo Dad. And to make a long story short, we find out that Megamom and Destructo Dad are actually Number 274's parents. And they only did this so he could be number one. Okay, how did he not figure out that those were his parents? I mean, look at their masks and look at their faces. Their masks are obviously made after their faces. They just have amplified voices and bigger heads. How did he not figure this out? Is this guy blind or something or just plain stupid? I mean, for the love of mud, that's clearly your parents, you idiot. And this guy is supposed to be a legendary member? If I was a member of the kids next door and my parents did this, I would recognize them immediately. I would know it's my own parents. Seriously, how did he not figure this out? Clearly, the kids next door need to include eye exams, don't you think? The next one is one I like to call pointless censorship. This one comes from Larry the Cable Guys Only in America. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any pictures to illustrate this, so I just had to grab a few things to illustrate my point, and everyone's just going to have to use their imaginations. I am truly sorry about this, but I couldn't find any other way. This particular moment happened in a special episode where Larry goes to Alaska, showing moose hunting, all kinds of stuff like that. And since he was in Alaska, of course, he had to try to see if he could meet Sarah Palin. So he goes to the ranch where she lives, he actually has a very big conversation with her husband and while he's talking to her husband out in the yard I'm talking like a good 20 feet away from the house she comes jogging around the house Larry asks who's that and her husband says that's her to make a long story short with that scene he asks her to give him a get her done she motions no and runs in the house but that's not what's stupid about this what is stupid about this is the whole time her face is blurred out why we know it's her! For the love of God, why are they even doing this? I mean, I can understand when they do this on cops, you know, because you don't know who that is, and they also bleep out their voices and their names and all that. But here's the thing. She's a television celebrity in a way because, you know, she's she was the governor. She was a vice presidential candidate. She's very well known, and they blur out her face. This is what I mean by pointless censorship. We know it's her. So what is the point? I think, truth be told, it has something to do with a joke he made about her in a previous episode. Therefore, she wasn't going to satisfy him. But still, I mean, really, we know it's her. So why is she even bother saying, no, you must blur my face? Jeez. And last, we come to my final one. One that I like to call dumb business decisions. This one, you are not going to believe me when I tell you this, and surprisingly, nobody has called this out. This one, once again, comes from SpongeBob. What happens is a new batch of snail treats comes out called Snail Bites, and SpongeBob gets a whole packet for Gary. Gary loves it so much that he keeps begging for more until he completely runs out. And afterwards, he's begging him to go to the pet store to get more, but they're completely out. He ends up going to the factory, and it turns out they're closed. Why? Apparently the box sold out every box, and he completely ran out of ingredients, and he decides, I'm just going to get out of the business altogether. 
Do I really need to say how stupid it is? Okay, I'll say it anyway. What an idiot! This guy is literally sitting on a gold mine, and he decides to quit after the first mind-blowingly successful day? You have got to be kidding me, man! If I had a killer product like that that would make pets go wild and want more and have more people spend money for it, I would be making this until the day I croak! I would not just quit after the first day! What an idiot! Every businessman or even non-businessman knows that when you have a killer product like this that's going to sell off the shelves and make you millions within an hour, you don't just quit, you keep going! Idiot! And those are the dumbest things I have ever seen on television. I'm sure there are more. Let me know what you think and tell me what dumb things you have seen. This is Movie Fan, signing off.